What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are gonna be installing the Live Scanner Elite model onto our Lowrance Ghost for our Lowrance Active Target Transducer. If you're not familiar with this mount, you gotta stay tuned and check this thing out. It is phenomenal. I can't wait to get it installed and put it to the test. There's other companies out there that offer a similar um, device, a similar mount, but in my opinion, this one is hands down the best out there for a couple different reasons that we're gonna cover throughout the install. It has a couple other features that the other mounts don't offer, and that's the reason we went with this one. So it was originally made for Garmin for the Live Scope, but since Lowrance now has their active target and that's of course what we went with it is compatible with that as well so i'm going to flip the camera around i'm going to show you everything that comes with this thing we'll get it installed and i'll show you exactly what it does so let's get into it so let me show you what you get with the elite package they do offer two different packages they offer the pro and the elite the pro is kind of like their entry level system the elite is the the top of the line system and i'll show you the differences on the two different packages so with the elite system you're going to get obviously the live scanner pull which is where you're going to mount the uh, active target transducer or garmin live scope if that's what you're running um this is what they call the brain. This is where your wiring harnesses connect to, which we'll go over that, kind of processes the information. That kind of runs the show, basically. This is your trolling motor mounting bracket. They send you a little cup koozie. Um, you get a, a bag of hardware. This wiring harness goes with the live scanner there. You get the foot pedal here. This is one of the differences between the, um, the Elite model, which we have, and the Pro model, the, the base model. So with the Elite model, you get a lighted foot pedal. So there's a little LED right here, which I'll show you guys obviously once we get the install done. So you get an, a lighted foot pedal. And the biggest reason, hands down, why I went with the live scanner and then of course the Elite model over the Pro, they give you a variable speed on the Elite model. That to me is well worth the extra money. Might not matter to everybody depending on how you fish, but I am gonna use this constantly. So with this variable speed, you can crank, you can turn it on. Actually, you can hear a click. So it's kind of an on off as well, but you can turn this thing to where your the, ro the speed of rotation for your active target transducer you can have it to where that thing is barely spinning if you're really trying to zero in on a piece of cover or something like that or you can crank it up where it's where it's moving or anything in between so this variable speed knob hands down the biggest reason i went with the live scanner and the elite model over the pro so with the pro model you do not get the lighted foot pedal you don't get the variable speed okay so that's differences between the pro and the elite which is what we have the other difference is on with the elite system System that we have the arrow on the directional arrow that's going to show you which direction your active target transducer is pointing that also lights up and the word live scan lights up all right that does not happen on the pro model that's only on the elite okay so those are the differences between the two again that variable speed knob that is hands down well worth the, the extra money in my opinion might not matter for you how you, you know the way you fish but for me i can absolutely see myself using that variable speed and uh in different situations so then you also can get you don't have to get these but you can opt in for uh remotes to control it as well if you don't want to use the foot pedal and then if you get the remotes you also get this piece here it's just the transmitter for the uh for the remotes all right so i'm gonna let i'm gonna show you guys how to get this install done it seems very very easy and straightforward doesn't seem complicated at all i don't think it's going to take all that long so let me uh let me show you what we got to do to get started and then i'll give you a little bit of a view um after we get it all installed all right first thing you got to do is mount your trolling motor bracket all right, so you can do this one of two ways. You can put it on the starboard side like this. So your pole would be running down the starboard side of the boat. Or you can do what I'm gonna do and mount it port side. I'm gonna mount it on the port side for a couple different reasons. So all you're gonna do is, you know, that's up to you, whatever's gonna work better for your situation, for your setup. I'm, again, port side for me is what's gonna work better, which I'll show you why. So on the Ghost, there's, there's pre-tapped holes already on the motor. There's one, two, three and four on the other side. You can't miss them, they're, they're right there out in the open. So just, again, decide whatever way you wanna mount it, port or starboard. We're gonna do port. You're gonna take the bolts that they give you in the kit. They're half inch heads, so a half inch socket is what you're gonna need. You're just gonna line the holes in the motor. There's five different holes, but that this one here is not gonna be used. I'll show you that once we, once we get it on there. So you're just gonna line it up, take the bolts that they supply to you, I actually only got three bolts in my package. 
you're supposed to get four. Um, but I will say I contacted the company regarding, um, I had a different question and they, they told me that they were going to send out the bolt and, um, the other piece, which I'll show you in a second. There was another little piece missing in my install kit. It wasn't a big deal, but I reached out to them. They immediately responded and got me taken care of. So I will say customer service right off the bat, very responsive and very nice to deal with and pretty impressive. So you're just going to take the supplied bolts again, half inch, um, half inch socket, get those tightened down. So I'm going to do that and I'll pick back up with you. So once you have the mounting bracket secured to the ghost, you're gonna take your live scanner, the pole, and as you're gonna see, it's got one, it comes with, these are loose in that little hardware bag. Okay, you get a little coupler and a gasket. It's got a coupler and a gasket on there already as well. So you're gonna take the, the pole, the live scanner itself, and just slide it straight down in here. And then, you know, you can line it up however low you want it, how you want it, you, you know, that's for you to decide. There really is no right or wrong. You just want to make sure it's low enough to where your active target is going to be in the water, of course. I'm going to have mine to where um, the, the head of the live scanner mount is kind of almost parallel with the head of the ghost. Just to start, if I have to adjust from there, we will. So once you have it in place, you're just going to tighten that coupler. It screws onto the 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 um the mounting bracket that's already threaded and then you're going to take the two that come loose and just slide it up over and do the same exact thing all right so let me just get this secured in place and we'll move on to the next step All right, I had a little something come up last night, so I had to stop the install. We're picking this up on the, the next day. So let me show you. This is what we're what we got. This is where we're at. So we have the, the bracket mounted, the live scanners in the bracket, secured with those two couplers that I showed you last night. And um, we let me give you a peek at why we went with the port side mounting location. So you can see the live scanner. You know, I have it just a, a little bit below the ghost. Again, once we get on the water, if I have to adjust the, if I have to adjust the height, you can slide, you can loosen these couplers and slide the live scanner up or down. Um, but let me give you a look at how or why I should say I chose the port side mounting option. Again, there is no right or wrong. It's up to you, but. Number one, for me, I didn't have an option because of my dual 16s right here. If I if I put the live scanner on the starboard side, it would have hit my my top 16. So I didn't have an option. But even if it wasn't for that, I would have went with the port side option for this reason. Um, if you have this on the starboard side, and just so you guys know, this is the 47-inch Ghost, but I did go with the 52-inch live scanner. I wanted a little bit of play you know, I just wanted to give myself a little bit of wiggle room there. And I'm actually glad I did now that I have this thing mounted and I'm looking at it. If I had this on the starboard side, I wanted to mount my active target transducer as low and as close to the, the head of the trolling motor as possible for the, the main reason being, I didn't want to have my, my active target transducer up here and put it in down view and have it pick up the head of the trolling motor, if you know what I mean. Um, so I wanted to be able to mount my active target transducer low enough so when I have it in down forward whatever doesn't matter it's not going to pick up the head of the ghost all right if I had it on the starboard side it's going to be really close to the prop of the ghost um you know if I had this 52 inch live scanner on the starboard side because I plan on mark I'm sorry mounting my active target all the way down here towards the bottom all right so it would have been very close to the prop so that's the biggest reason I chose to go with the port side mounting location other than the reason that I, again I had no choice with that 16 but I would have went with the port side anyway for that reason all right so that's where we're at now that we have the live scanner mounted and secured basically all we have left to do is mount the brain hook up all the wiring and run to power so let me give you a look at that all right so we're on to mounting the brain and connecting the wiring so 
you have to pick a location for the brain where obviously where the wiring harnesses are going to reach. Now they do offer an eight foot extension on their website. I think it's like 6295, 63, something like that. It's, it's in the low 60s price wise. Um, again, eight foot extension if you wanted to mount this brain somewhere in a different location and run the longer wiring. All right, I already know where I'm gonna mount mine. Again, I'll give you guys a look at that, but let me show you how everything connects. Really, really simple, you can't screw it up. All these connections are different sizes, so you cannot plug them in the wrong spot. All right, so the harness that's coming from the live scanner itself is gonna go into the back of the brain in the smaller spot. So I'm not gonna actually plug it in because we still have to mount this, but you're just gonna plug that into one spot on the back. Then the harness coming off of the foot pedal here it's, it's the bigger of the two connects into the other spot on the back of the brain. All right, the only other connection that you're gonna have if you chose the wireless remote, you're gonna have this kind of a pigtail coming off of the, um, so this is the harness coming off of the, um, the foot pedal. All right, so the main harness comes up and then you have kind of a pigtail that shoots off. That is for the, the um, transmitter for the wireless remote so you're just going to take the transmitter and plug that in there once you get it mounted all right so let me go ahead and get that done and then i'll give you guys a look at where i actually mounted it and how it looks installed then the only thing left to do is run to power and i mentioned earlier in the video the, the thing that they forgot to include in my install kit they just didn't put a cap on my fuse again no big deal i emailed them they responded right away and they're sending it out to me so no big deal whatsoever. So let me get all this stuff mounted up and connected and I'll, uh, I'll show you what we did. All right guys, install is done. I cannot wait to get this thing on the water. So let me show you what we did here. I'll show you where we mounted the brain first in the starboard side rod locker, right down in here on the inside wall. You can see it right there. So we just used a couple screws, mounted it to the wall there. And what we did, what you see right here, um, that's the transmitter for the wireless remote. So it has double backing tape on it So all we did was clean off the smooth surface on the brain and uh, With alcohol with an alcohol wipe and we stuck that transmitter right to that uh, Right to the brain so that way everything is together nice and neat and uh, you know It's all kind of organized and looking good. Don't mind all this mess of wiring speaking of organized We're obviously in the middle of different projects. So I got to clean all this wiring up, but that's where we mounted the brain and the transmitter for power all we did um we tapped into i have a dual usb charging port up there on the front of the boat in front of the ghost trolling uh, the foot pedal there you can't see it but so all i did was i located the positive and negative wire for that and we just tapped the the live scanner into that dual usb wiring so we just took the positive from the live scanner with that inline fuse that they have to send me the cap for <laughs> um we tap that into the positive line for that dual usb charger and then the negative from the live scanner into the negative line for that dual usb all right so you can there's a number of different ways you can do this you can do like i did you can tap into an existing power source like that you can run it to a bus bar you can run it direct to your battery whatever is convenient for you whatever you want to do that's just how we chose to do it it was convenient for me since i already had a positive and a negative there all right so let me show you um the foot pedal obviously this is where we have it for now. Once we get it on the water, we may tweak this setup. You know, obviously, you know, you get it, get it out there on the water. You may change things up a little bit, but let me just give you a quick look at the operation. So it does have that, the light switch. So if you're fishing in low light or in the dark, you can light that up just enough. And as you can see, what's important for me, it's not super bright. So if we're in the dark, that is gonna be plenty of light to light up that foot pedal, but it's also not super bright, not gonna blind you. It also lights up the yellow arrow there on the top of the live scanner and then the, the word live scan lights up as well but again not super bright it's just bright enough to where if you're fishing in the dark you're going to easily see it but it's not going to blind you very very important to me so let's turn that back off and i'll give you a look at the variable speed so right now i have it on a very slow uh setting we're going to use the wireless remote and just keep your eye on the active target transducer up there you can see on the slow setting, this thing barely moves, which to me is huge. And again, this is the biggest reason I went with this Live Scanner Elite. If I'm fishing a specific piece of structure, once I locate a piece of structure, whether it's a brush pile or whatever the case may be, and I really wanna dial in on that piece of cover or structure, that to me is when that slow slow setting and slow speed is gonna come in handy for sure. But yet, if you wanna cover water, 
I'll show you. Let's just crank this up all the way just to save time on the video. So we have it up all the way and then we'll back off just a tiny bit because this thing really moves when you have it cranked up. So now you can see, I mean, it cooks. <laughs> um, I, and I got to be honest, there's probably never a situation I'm going to use it at that fast. But I just wanted to give you an idea of how fast it can go, how slow it can go. And you can use that knob to get anywhere in between those two speeds that I'm just showing you. So again, biggest reason I went with this, I can't stress it enough. That to me, when I'm covering water, I'm going to use those faster speeds. Maybe not that fast, but definitely a faster speed. But when I lock in on a piece of cover or structure or find a school offshore, whatever the case is, slow it down, zero in on it. And uh, that that's huge. So, all right. So the cable for the foot pedal, as you can see, we ran underneath the bow plate right there. Plenty of slack there, plenty of play. It's not too tight. If I want to move that pedal around a little bit, I can. Once I find exactly where I'm going to want that pedal, I may actually screw it down into the deck of the boat. Um, right now, I'll give you a look real quick. They, they actually have like a non-slip thing on the back of it. So once it's on the carpet, it's not going to easily move. I may screw it down if I find a location for it that I really, really like. All right, but as you can see where we, we sent that... Uh, that wiring harness in the wiring harness from the live scanner itself right here we just have we use these velcro straps i don't use zip ties anymore um but we just have it running along with the ghost and then basically same idea it pops into underneath the bow plate there there's another little opening and as you can see plenty of slack plenty of play which is important because once you deploy the ghost you don't want to stress those wires or those cables and that's a, that's something to keep in mind guys when you're doing this install what I did before I kind of buttoned everything up, I deployed my ghost a couple times, made sure the wiring all had, you know, it had enough slack and all that good stuff just to make sure you're not doing anything wrong and you're not going to stress those cables. So, all right, guys, the live scanner elite model, check this thing out. I cannot wait to get it on the water. I'll keep you guys posted. Of course, we'll do some on the water reviews and videos with this thing. But in my opinion, this is hands down the best trolling motor mount out there simply for the fact that it has that variable speed. And uh, I will say, I mean, the thing's, seems to be built rock solid i'm pretty impressed with the um you know the feel of it you know once you have it in your hands but that variable speed priceless to me appreciate you guys watching as always any questions comments concerns leave them down below and we'll catch you on the next video take care